there's fish just bouncing like crazy in front of us. Oh my God. Are you joking? on the Gate Cod Canal. We woke up even earlier today in anticipation to get even a better striper bite. I think I rolled out a better on uh, oh, 2.45 this morning. Got out the door around 3.10. Now, while the striper should be biting today, we also have to keep in mind that Hurricane Jose is about to uh, roll in here around early mid-morning. Early mid-morning, does that even make any sense? Around mid-morning, we'll see how that goes. So, Got a few minutes to get unpacked here. I got a few minutes to do my little intro to you guys. Welcome back. I'm stoked. I want to catch a big one today. All right. It's kind of quiet. We're uh, waiting for these fish to really get active. Should happen any moment now. Don't want to jinx it, but it could happen any moment. Start off the day throwing sluggos, which are these giant eel-like lures. We'll see how this works. It's really dark right now, so not gonna be doing too much filming. If I hook up, just gonna focus on fishing. Once we catch a nice one, we'll uh, turn the lights on, turn the camera on. But for now, let's see if we can catch a fish. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. That's a fish. I'm hooked up, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this. Actually, no, you can't see this because it's pitch black out, but I am stuck into something that is pulling. It might be a fish. It's either a massive fish or you found something to get stuck on. It's hard to tell from, it's hard to tell from this distance. It's okay. I think it was hooked funny. That's why it was fighting kind of odd. I mean, it's a good fish. Good first fish. I don't know if you guys can see that in the water, but that's a striped bass. First one of the day. Come here. That's a nice fish. It's a pain in the it's so beautiful at night. Okay, it is recording right now. Just hold it sideways like that. Wow, that didn't take long. It's still dark out. Almost sunrise, first stripe of the day. I'm sure that was kind of weird to watch, being those pitch black fighting a fish, but. Quality, quality bass. A good first one to get for day two on the canal. Big old fat head. Look at that brute. Whew. Walking on these rocks is like a death trap. Oh my God. Look at that booty. Look at that beast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There she goes. See you later, striped bass. Whew. That feels amazing. First ever night striper. Another big fat check mark. I'm gonna see if I can catch some bigger fish today. I wanna get creative with the lures that we throw. But for now, I wanna get in the swing of things and kinda get back on the groove. It is so freaking hard to film on these rocks right now. And it's so hard to film when it's like dark out. I'm gonna set this camera up, roll the GoPro so you guys have like a, a little idea what's going on right now. But what's really happening right now is these fish are starting to just straight munch. Oh, there's actually macro right there. There's, oh God, there's a whole school of mackerel. It's so hard to talk to the camera and the fishing's insane. But I have to share this experience with you guys. The uh, mackerel are coming in right now. There's fish busting all over here. I've caught three stripers so far, two rats, one decent one. Hey, um, I'm just gonna stop talking now and see if I catch some fish. Here we go. Like on, dude, they love this swimmer. They're squeaky. They're so squeaky. Where these little fish are coming from, but I've caught like three of these guys in a row now. They're fun to catch, but these aren't the ones we're after, we're after the big ones. Nice fish though. Everyone over there is hooked up. If you're hooked up, five of those guys are hooked up. It's just stupid right now.
This is craziness. Ate it on the drop. That was insane. That was insane. Before I could even close my bail, I felt that fish just crunch. Oh my god, fighting fish in the tail. That's locked down too. That's not. I don't think that's a tiny fish. That's locked down. Drag. Locked down. Drag. It's t dude. That's tight. I mean, that that fish ran on tight. This feels pretty good. This one feels pretty good. Come in here. Oh boy, this is serious. Come on, give up. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> a good one. Much better, much better. Much better fish. Oh my God, dude, this is a big one. Oh, pig E, man, absolute piggy. Oh my God, I can barely even hold some of these fish. They're so giant. Look at that. These like almost bluish green stripes. Why wouldn't you want to catch this? Oh God, I just got smoked. He just slapped me right in the face. Ooh, that felt good. What a tanker. Wow, that's something else. There's fish just bouncing like crazy in front of us. Oh my God. Are you Joe? Yeah, I'm on. Two feet, two feet from my, from my feet. That caught me so off guard, like so off guard. Not a bad one, not a bad one at all. Another beast, another freaking beast. I'm out of words to say, like I'm out of dialogue. I got nothing. Other than the fact that if my mind's blitzed, I can't even think straight right now. Look at that toad, baby. <sighs> I'm shaky. You can position yourself virtually anywhere in this canal and stumble upon fish. Everywhere you turn, someone's hooked up. If it's not you, it's someone else. So how can it be this good? How can it be this good? You become the mackerel, thick. Mackerel, mackerel and bunker, yeah. See him? Right there. Oh my God, here they come, holy smokes. Game over. That's a stud, oh look at this, what is going on? Oh, look at this, this is nuts. Oh, he died. Woo, woo hoo hoo hoo. He's got it. That was so cool. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> he just pulled off. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Just skimming it on the surface. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Well, the bite continues, and with that bite comes a little bit of nasty weather. We're about to get hit with some uh, some rain here, so as always, I'm going to put this thing away. I think this is just a very cusp, the very tip of Hurricane Jose that we're about to get. This is like nothing, of course, but it progressively, I think, will get worse up until Wednesday. Check this out, too. This is crazy. Look at this real quick before I sign off. These fish are so aggressive that they'll push the little mackerel into these little pools. Like they don't have any choice but to get trapped here. It's insane. Anyway, that's exactly what these fish are eating. I can feel the rain really starting to come down now. 
I think it's time to set the uh, camera aside before I really start ruining some equipment. But it's just a madhouse out here. Uh, I'm going to try to film as much as I possibly can, but if not, then I'll see you guys back in the car. Ooh, it's getting a little dicey. Old Whoa, look at that. You got any of these? Oh, I had them all when I was, especially this pig. How was When I was a kid. We're hiding away from the rain right now, checking out some some baits, some striper baits. That is insane. This brings cuda tubes like a whole other level. Striper is such weird fish, man. It's like one of my favorite parts about traveling, is just going to like different tackle stores and seeing how they're unique in a sense to like what kind of fish in the area. Like everything here, is big and designed for striper fishing. Stuff I'm not used to seeing in the first place, but I mean like these tubes, like those are lures. Like look at this thing. Big bucktails, jerk baits, poppers. I mean, I'm like really kind of fond of these fish now. They're so much fun to catch, man. They fight so hard too. Oh my God. So going back out to the face of the elements. Actually that storm's gone, so there's pretty much no elements. It's just, it's just soggy out here. All right, here goes nothing. This is our last run, I believe. And then we're gonna head back home. I'm just hoping I catch one more striper. That would make for such an epic day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, fishes. I mean, they were here, they were here way before we came too. Is that bait in front of you? That's bait. Oh boy, yeah. Here we go. I think it's about to get real good in a few minutes here. We just want a little more action and then we'll feel full. That's all we're asking. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I've never seen it like this before in my entire life. Oh boy. Look at that, look at all these mackerel. I could pick one of these mackerel up right now. Holy I don't know what to say. Wow, they're going nuts. They're going nuts. Everywhere. And I've got a squeak. Actually, that's not a terrible fish. Look at that one. Pretty long fish, not super heavy, but quality, quality bass. Okay, well, that was quite an adrenaline rush. Look at all these stripers. Nursing like this for my entire life. Watch this, watch this. Look at that, look at that. Done, it's gonna get eaten, it's gone. It's gone! <laughs> that, was, that was insane. Oh, oh, shoot! My rod! Oh my god. <laughs> no way, you guys aren't gonna believe what just happened. This bait was sitting in the water for my last release. Oh my god, I'm panting. This is crazy. <sighs> This bait was sitting in the water when this fish ate it. Oh my God, I can't believe that. So I released that fish, then I dropped what I was doing over here after I released that fish, went all the way over there to get some footage. And uh, I forgot my bait was still in the water. Look, it was Max. And I forgot my bait was in the water. I get absolutely annihilated. 
unbelievable stuff. Look at this. I'm just gonna throw in the water. It's tangled, but I don't even care. I don't think they I don't think they care. Like it doesn't matter. Look at that. You guys, this entire time we've seen tons of bait, tons of mackerel. Occasionally a few stripers like come up shallow to bust, but never throughout this entire trip have we actually seen a school of stripers. And not even like a school of stripers. This is like a school of like 15 pound plus stripers. They're giant, they're big, big fish, and they'll eat anything you throw at them. <laughs> That's what's so nuts about it. Hopefully that school comes by again so we can really wreck house. I can't get this bait untangled in time. I need to just focus on fishing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say screw this bait. I'm gonna throw this thing on. This is an old bait that uh, John used to catch the stripers on when he was a kid. We're gonna see how good this works. It's literally a piece of wood. <laughs> it looks like nothing. Piece of wood with troubles. Let's see if this does some damage. There they go, right there, right there. There we go. There we go. That one's on the piece of wood. Piece of wood with some metal on it. Anything that moves, it's going to their mouth. Jason, the dude I met earlier, let me cast his stick out. It's behind me, and he's doubled. We're both setting to some stripes. Oh, here comes the mackerel. It's about to get disgusting here in about a second. Look at that. There's a piece of wood hanging in his mouth. That's all he wanted. There's the wooden lure hanging out of his jowl. Chill, chill, chill. Another striper, gone. Join your mackerel eating buddies. I'm fried. This, uh, this trip was so special to me only because of the fact that I not only got to catch my first striper and many more, but I got to experience a type of fishing that I probably won't ever experience again in my lifetime. These these fish, they're, they're not always like this. I mean, if the fishing was always like this, everyone would come here. But this is a unique situation. Everything lined up perfectly. Pre-storm Jose hurricane frontal bite, the low pressure, the fog, the tide, the moons, everything fell into place. I'm sure you guys know this, but for those of you who don't, a lot of things don't always fall into place, especially when it comes to filming. For me, I want to fish. I want to catch bass. I want to catch the biggest bass. But I also want to really focus on my camera, because this thing right here is what allows me to bring everything that I've seen today and put it out publicly for you guys to watch and enjoy and get a taste for it, hopefully inspire you guys to come down to the Cape Cod Canal and catch your first strike best. That's what's really important to me. I know that sounds cheesy and a lot of you guys are probably saying, sure, yeah, whatever. But I couldn't tell you how many times where I'd sacrifice the rod, pick up the camera and try to really make this an awesome video because as much as I wanted for today to be an insane fishing day I also wanted it to be an insane filming day anyway I love this place the East Coast is beautiful the people are extremely nice and the fishing is top-notch before I go to bed and before I sign out I want to say thank you so much to the war family for letting me stay here for the past couple days it's been an absolute treat an absolute pleasure I would not have known about this uh, whole situation if it weren't for the fact that um, you know, I got to fish with John and that I'm a little addicted to these fish. It's hard for me to get like super, super pumped nowadays. For me, I want the biggest, the baddest, the meanest bite. I want fish to just foam on my lure. I want, I want fish to just crush it with all endurance. This is right up my alley. So I think that's where I'm going to close out today's video there. I just wanted to kind of have a little monologue with you guys. I always love, I always love talking to the camera. It feels like I'm literally sitting down with you guys and speaking with you one-on-one, -on -one, almost kind of just we're both processing the day because this is the first time I'm really getting the chance to sit down and, and reminisce and think about, I am such a lucky dude to have experienced a bite like this. I'm going to be able to tell my kids about these past two days and it's going to get them hyped. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed these striper series. If you want to see more of me out of my element and catching fish I don't know how to target, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what I need to go after next and I'll try to make it happen. On that note, guys, I'm going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep fishing, never stop.